Welcome back you filthy animals. This is our second episode of the S55 Swapped E34. If you want to see what got us to the stage, watch the last episode. Since then, we have acquired some more rusty BMW parts from the local graveyard near Check you. Check it out, yo. IX business. Subframe arms steering rack from a 525 IX E34. Different subframe layout, hopefully give us more room. Today, we are gonna take this back out Take this off, put this on. Yeah, so it's a steering rack setup as opposed to a linkage, and it will give us more clearance on the sump, hopefully. We'll see. Probably we'll gonna see. have to chop it still. Alfred, mate! I'm trying to film it! Oh, yeah. <laughs> but George helped me run over my dog. And he's good. He's all good. He's good, no so broken limbs. Please so. don't report me to RSPCA. to breaking my arm. What just happened? I nearly lost my arm. That was scary. It's fallen off the mount and got caught on something else and thankfully it wasn't my limb. There's also a puddle of oil from the crane. Living life nice and safe. We need to take all this out and throw all this hey, hey, I'm lightheaded, that was stressful. <laughs> Car bro, M5 stuff. Yeah. Oh, look, look at that fish. Something tells me it's not going to be in there. That's some cowboy. Flippy, Modified the washer. Yeah. Cool, so that's most of the linkage for the old steering system out of the way. <laughs> like I'm in a horror movie. <laughs> All that stuff has recently been polyburst, so it leads us to think it's been off before. However, the following is on the sub. Hey, hey. It's uh, a reassuring noise. Just let George do it, he needs to be on a roll. You're moving the car around, look how it's barely on this chassis rail now. Yes, sir. The building falls down, they end up through a window. <laughs> Decided to weight down the front of the car with some Weird. heavy hunks of metal. Some scrap metal. Oh, yeah. oh, that's a big old gaping hole. I'm probably holding up the weight of the car right now. <laughs> Three out of four drops. <laughs> oh, you're God. having a day, you are. Mate, <laughs> no, you're doing on purpose now. Are you doing this? I think so, yeah, sir. This is just for the race track. <laughs> Oh, quite a lot. Of quite a lot. Yeah, good. So we've, we've created some more space there. These Mike, these Mike. beams weren't here before. Once it clears over. Don't 
cameraman's got it up. Yeah, keep coming. Mate. That's on. As it. BRB, mate. Gonna go squirt everywhere. <laughs> what are you saying about that? That's mental. No fab needed. We need to adjust the angle of the arms and stuff. But that is crazy. It's on engine mounts. Factory positions, factory engine mounts, factory arms. Holy smokish. Basically plug and play, mate. It's looking a lot better in that position as well now, isn't it? Almost so. It's marvellous, mate. Marvellous. That is actually, I can't believe that. The fact that you managed to get this perfectly in between. Yeah, that is that is a, quite a fluke. I mean, it was a calculated guess, wasn't it, Josh? Nice gearbox mount, though, man. Jesus, <laughs> well, I put my head under there. We have an engine in an engine hole. That went pretty well, to be honest with you. He's having one. a celebratory meal right now. One is a celebration. Another one. One slight calamity. <laughs> what is he? It's <laughs> overnight oats, man. It's good for you. Engine mounts are on. Look at that. Crazy. This one here. Crazy. It's got a completely different setup. It's got a, a lower arm rather than the two, three piece assembly that was on there before. So we have different hubs, different arms, obviously, and we need different shocks. So we don't have the shocks. We're going to see if we can put some E46 ones on, possibly, or some more investigating. Let's see us another time. Mate. See us in a minute. Hopefully. Mate. See us right. the hubs and suspension. The next thing is to sort out the steering. We've put the rack in there, that's attached to the tie rods. We now need to figure out the steering column. An assortment of pieces, we're gonna try to offer some bits up together and see if we can make the right distance. Okay, I see it's It's looking pretty tight in there, mate. That's about uh, 175. <laughs> it's like if you went to the Costa and went on the day or something. You caught nothing, mate. It's been air. Ah! Catching thin air. <laughs> oh. Oh. So we're looking at the different lengths. I'm gonna split this apart, transfer <laughs> this over to it. Hey, I'm moving. <laughs> Just trying to fly, mate. <laughs> That's going in there. <laughs> yeah, name and shame, oh, mate. With the bits we've got lying about, we can't make the right distance for the steering column. So you're going to have to wait till the next episode for that. <laughs> this is a BMW E46 coilover. This is not a BMW E46. We've had to bodge it. I think it's the only word to say. Oh right, I see the bodge. This is not attached. Can you see the bodge? Yeah, that doesn't fit in there as a result when you try something else. Thankfully, Captain Beige has got a another car. And uh, we're gonna rape and pillage from this vehicle over here. So George, George will tell you all about that right now. I'm just gonna put this instead of the uh, strut. It's nice and stiff. <laughs> Get harder with your handbag, man. Need an extension. Nice and tight. That shouldn't be tight. Oh, hell. 
Show us your hands. We just did this, and Scott didn't get on film because he was too busy raping me all. Without. What? You almost missed it again, you B word. This, if this was mine, I'd throw this right on the floor right now, but it's not. It's not mine. <laughs> <laughs> No, I got it, mate. Don't worry. <laughs> Shocking stuff. Is that gonna get in the way of the drive? Bump on the drive. Right. Idiots doesn't take the fist and coil. Should be spot on. We're point two of a memo out. Mm -hmm. Shocking. Do I need to spot the old cheese? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Semi slicks on, straight ready for the track. <laughs> so now we've done that, what point is it at? We need to get E39 coilovers and custom top mounts and custom bottom mounts and then we'll do some more custom stuff. Can't get over how custom and good that looks, mate. <laughs> Deck, mate. As you can see, we got lots to do, so keep in touch and uh, <laughs> keep an eye on our channel for the follow-up to this. Like and subscribe, please, and comment, especially. Like, comment, comment and subscribe. <laughs> it's like Nardwar at the end of the video. <laughs> That's all, folks.